It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. No one cared who I was until I put on the mask. Thank you guys so much for checking out the first episode in the Let's Play series. You guys are awesome. You guys showed so much love on the video, and I want to say thank you guys so much for all the likes on the video. Can we do it again? Can we hit 50 likes? Can we hit that magic number of 50 once again? I know we can. Thank you guys so much for showing the love to the video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. What is up, you sexy monkey singes and everything in between? It's your boy, Cynical C, coming through your speakers. And what I have for you, sexy monkeys, is episode 2. In the Vanilla Hardcore Let's Play series. Am I going to die this episode? Maybe. What we have last from last episode is I asked you guys to do a little homework for me. I asked you guys to comment in the section below and tell me what level you guys thought was going to be best to find diamonds because that's what we need. Right now we have seven iron and not much else. In the information below, we got one level that a lot, two people said would be the best. That's level and we also saw that the next best level to find things on would be the level that I agree with. And that's level. So let's go see what level is the best for finding diamonds. We're going to go up to the top and we are going to go and get this iron cooked. Because without iron, we won't even be able to grab those diamonds. You know what's going to happen? They're going to vaporize. Like the time when your mom was saying, you know what? If you don't get dressed right now, we're not going to the grocery store. Well, if I do not get this iron, we're not going to the grocery store. You're not going to get any jelly bellies, and we're going to have a bad time. So let's go up to the top. Let's try to get some of those damasol. Where am I? What? This is the, the, the thing to the thing. Wait, what? Okay, wait. I think I was horribly misinformed. What? Wait. <laughs> oh, I got it. Wait, I think I got it. Yes, okay. I was like, how is the crafting table there? It's behind the wall. We should have... You know what? I was testing you guys. Um, that's what I do. In order to make sure all of us stay on the tip top of our game, I make sure to test us. Just to make sure that we're actually accomplishing things and things are actually going in our favor. You know what we need to do is we need to go outside and risk our lives just for a little bit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try to find some more wood. I mean, we're right next to some, but we're going to need to collect some. We got to go find some wood, boy. We need to find some. I don't see any. I don't even see a little bit, man. I'm joking with you. There's plenty of wood for everybody. If you need some, we have it. We should start up a wood factory. Wait, what? Why am I getting the achievement for getting wood? This game is lying to you, I promise. We already had it. No. Wait, how did, how did we collect wood? I feel like we're getting achievements over again. It's like achievementception. I, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, we need Leonardo DiCaprio to lead me through this dream right now. He's going to be like, follow me. I'll take you the other way. Then he's going to start shooting people while they're like going through a wood farm. And then finally I'm going to like lead myself back there. And it's an achievement within an achievement. Yeah, that's definitely what's going to happen. All right, so now we have enough to make some sticks. I don't have to use this crafting table, but it was right there. And instead of pressing E, I just right-clicked. I know, I do things a little non-traditional. I walk on the edge, living on the edge. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab this iron. How many pickaxes do I think? I, uh, let's go for two. Let's make two pickaxes. You know what two is going to do? If we break one, we don't have to come back up to the top level to get it. We don't have to say, you know what? We don't have enough supplies, boy. And that's a good thing. All right. We're going to create this chest. I want to make this area look beautiful. I don't know how long I'm going to be here because, well, we need to find a better biome. But we need some supplies. We have relatively little amounts of food. We might die. We have no experience. We have no sword. We are depending on the kindness of others. And we are hoping something good can come from this. But we're probably going to die. I'm I'm honestly going to say when we get to level 12, I might fall in lava. I don't know why I just made seven swords. It seems like a good idea right now. Mostly because it was an accident. I actually went to get all that wood for torches. I let myself down. And it's getting dark. Oh, man. 
All right, we gotta figure this out quickly. All right, yeah, ah, I have hops. Did you see that? Are you proud of me? All right, we're gonna hit it with a piece of wood. We just need enough. We don't need a lot. Like I'm not gonna stay here longer than I have to. I hear the hero Brojami comes out late at night, and it, things get really scary. If uh, if you definitely stay out late at night, you're just gonna hear a, a heavy breathing, like. <sighs> And then the hero bros and me just gonna pop up and eat our face. So let's let's not do that. Let's get away from this area as quickly as possible. Close this out and go down here. We do not need any hero bros and me age tonight. All right, there we go. Got that. Even though I'm a ninja, I'm not a good ninja. So just saying, just saying. I was cast. I was chastised for the type of person I was, and that's why I ended up living the life I did so for so many years. I know a lot of people don't know that story, but you just took a. I, I let you get into the deep part of my life. I hope that you like it there. Do you like it there? Do you like it deep into my life? Do you like what you see in my mind? You better, boy. So we're going to try the first level. 12. We're going to build a humble. Humble being the key word. Mind strip. I usually get really outrageous and build these super in-depth mind strips. And uh, what happens with those is like I end up decorating them, putting chests everywhere, and doing all this stuff that people are like, dude, why'd you waste your time? You should just wear one direction. And that's what makes you beautiful. Mm -mm. Oh, sorry. I, I heard one direction and <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I let a lot of you guys down. I'm going to see how long it takes me to get diamonds from this very moment. And go. I'm going to say 45 seconds to a minute, maybe five. I'm going to say less. Under five minutes, I'm going to get diamonds. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I got this. Trust me. We're going to find them. I have faith. Faith, man. Faith. Faith. We got to find diamonds. All right. We need the thingy on our top bar. We got to treat this like we're professional Minecrafters. We are. We can do this. We can do this. I know we can get to the bottom of this very quickly, man. All right. Usually what I do is I go about 15 blocks or three dark. I usually go about three or four dark places. Like, you see how it's getting dark in this area? That's my form of measurement. It's like your grandmother's form of cooking. A pinch. She's like, you got to just use a pinch of salt. And your, your mom's like, what? Or you're like, mom, I just wanted to cook your famous lasagna. You didn't have to tell me all of these terrible terrible measurements or your dad he's like you want to know how to make the best lasagna around you got to use a mad dash what's a mad dash you know when you're mad and you're cooking and you start dashing more salt on there than you need to that's a mad dash boy that's not an actual form of measurement pops i know but that's how you cook where i'm from all right we have a skeletor there's a skeletor okay we got to figure this out okay breathe where is he yeah! Oh, wow, okay. He's by lava. Oh, I thought that those bubbles were diamonds. I was like, diamonds are forever. Where is he? Oh, you killed yourself, bro. Okay, let's see. Hmm. What's around this corner? We may go spelunkering for some damasol. Let's see. Hmm. Humity whom whom whom. This doesn't seem very safe at all. If you guys see diamonds, let me know. Let me know where I've gone wrong. Yeah. No. No. Okay. There's no diamonds here. Oh, who lives in a pine? Okay, we almost died right there. Um. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Okay. One breath at a time. No fear in this dojo. Okay. Ugh. Okay, we blocked it off, so now the probability of death for this sexy monkey is slim to none. Alright, there we go. Block that off. We're going to advert any sort of difficulty we may run into, and we're just going to start mining this way. <laughs> okay, don't, nothing's that way. Yeah, that's all bedrock. Just pretend like you didn't see anything. Yeah, there's a lot of bedrock on that wall, so we're just going to go one, two, three. Nothing to see. Alright, redstone. Project Redstone, Black Briar. You gotta shoot this mad Jack Bauer, Jason Bourne man. I feel really scared because I'm pretending like it's not affecting me, not to scare you guys, but there's creepers out there. It's a very dangerous environment. Anytime you hear a bat, that means that there's going to be trials and tribulation right around the corner. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not prepared, and I feel like it's almost really evident that I'm not prepared. I almost died to a very light stream of water leading to lava. 
If that's the case, I might not even make it to see daylight, which I wouldn't know actually what daylight is because there's no clock. Well, there is a clock, but that requires resources we don't have. So I pretend like it doesn't exist. That's what I do with things I don't have. I don't believe in Coca-Cola because there's none in the refrigerator. <laughs> All right, guys, we're definitely going to find some. I feel like we're getting left behind a little bit on our time. I don't know how long it's been, but we really, really, really need to find diamonds. As long as we just find one or two. I feel like we're in the perfect mind for diamonds. Sometimes you know you're in the diamond business from the start. You're like, we're going to get some. They're there. They are. Where are they? They're there. You just got to feel it, man. You got to... When they punch rock, you got to punch three times harder. Come on, rock. You got to hit harder than the next guy. Yeah, rock. You know you can beat Apollo Creed. You just got to try. Yo, Adrian. You know, I don't think I can beat him, but I'm going to give him my best nut. Because you know what? Apollo Creed's going to end up being my best friend by the third movie. And then he's I'm going to avenge his death when Ivan Durago knocks him out. Spoiler alert, it, if you haven't seen Rocky 4, sorry. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna end up getting a cool birthday present from whatever my coach's name is because I'm drawing a blank on his name right now because of all the brain damage from getting punched a thousand times and hitting someone back. Adrian? All right, let's go up to the surface. Oh, they're me? Oh, okay. No, okay. Okay. I think I might man up. I might just man up and go in there. Like, 80s movies are really influencing my thing. Like, you have no idea. I really feel, like, confident in myself. You're the best around. No one's gonna ever bring you down. You're the best around. Let air, let air. All right, we're going back in. We know the creeper is done. We need to torch it up as fast as possible, get rid of the Skeletor, and move out. We're probably going to find diamonds up there. That's going to be our treat for succeeding here. Okay, not going to end up succeeding like that. Come on, one more. Come on, you're mad, bro. All right, we got Lapis Lazuli. Lapis Lazuli. All right, let's see if there's any in here. Come on, we got to be fast. We're f covert operations, this thing. We got some iron over there. There's some gold up here. We're in a ravine. We should be good in this crevasse for quite a while. Um, I'm not positive, but we should be good skis. Let's see. We have iron gold. I am a golden apple. Yes, let's see. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Um, hmm. There should be. There's crud tons of coal. Coal Phelps. There's tons of it. So we should be good. Let's see. If you guys uh, if you guys can forgive me, I'm very nervous. That's why I'm shaking. I'm shaking it in the timbers. All right. Mm -hmm. Diamonds wouldn't be way up there. They'd probably be in the ground somewhere. I do not know my way back. Well, this is the start of something new. I'm living here now with 16 pork chops and like nine steak. And a couple of seeds and very little dirt. This is now my home. Welcome to my beautiful abode. Because I don't know how to get out of here. It's nice. You know, um, our real estate agent said it's some of the best territory around. Um, great neighborhood. There's a school. Um, great parks and recreation centers close by. There's an arcade for when little Tiny Tim ditches school and gets caught up with the wrong crowd. Um, gets into some pretty sketchy activity. There's a police station close by for when he gets into said police activity and decides to do bad things with his life. It's it's a perfect neighborhood. It, re it really is. <laughs> Alright, we could probably find something back here. We just gotta be fast. As long as we don't get hung up. We'll grab the golds and get out. We don't want to get greedy. Ooh, more gold. This isn't greedy. This is the right amounty. This is not greedy. Okay, let's see. Hmm. There's more golds. I have a feeling I'm going to die. If I do, I do. I'll die an explorer. That's that's the best way to go out. If you die as an explorer, more people will love you that way. More people will love you if you just if you're on your in your doing your obituary. That's what they read from it. 
He died in Explorer. Dora the Explorer. No relationship. They are not related in any way. They are not related in the slightest bits of ways, but Dora the Explorer. All right, let's see. Let's get out of here. There's more gold. Gold isn't really that great. It breaks really quickly. Iron is where... That's where... That's, that's definitely where it's at. Iron is where you want to be with your life. So let's go ahead and collect as much of that as possible. That'll put us in fantastic positions for later times. It really will. If you don't believe me, well, then you're just a bad person. All right, let's see. Hmm. Well, then I don't believe you, Cynical. Well, then you shouldn't. I told you about the mask already. Behind every great man, there is a great mask. There we go. Let's see. I think that's my, that's my portal out. Let's see. Nope, that's not it. That's the way I'm gonna get out of here. Just jump in these holes and assume it's my way home. I think that's honestly the best way to figure my way to success here. Unless I just decide to live with the cave people. They've never they've never judged me. Cave people have never judged me for who I am. You guys do, but the cave people never have. I was like, they were like, oh, we love you. We cherish you for who you are. <laughs> okay, all joking aside. We should have got a map. I'm genuinely lost right now. I am genuinely lost. Did I come from a cave? No. Wait. Yes? Is this it? Mm. Huh. <laughs> okay. I vaguely recall falling into water. So, that was a thing. Did I come from the other side? Well, no. I No, I know I fell in a wait. My head like seriously hurts from thinking about. I know I fell in the ah! No. Come on, man. Oh, I fight wait. No, that <laughs> Wait, is that my No oh, god, dude. I I'm really leaning towards living here forever. Welcome to forever. Okay, I was like, da 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 da, -da torch up the entire room. What? Well, this is a thing. I got lost in a ravine and. Good God, man. I'm lost. Alright. I feel like we almost have to do this. Like... I feel like we almost have to do this. Wait. Everyone, this is November 21st, 2013. My name is Cynical C. I don't know where I am and I don't know who I am, but I know I'm lost in this cave. A lot of dangerous things happen to me. I have a lot of scars under all this awesome ninja wear, and I don't know how I got them. All I do know is that if you get this tape, I'm probably dead. Please, tell my family I loved them, and I was proud to serve my Minecraft country. Thank you. I really don't know. Well, at least we shot it, so if I do never go home again, we know, like, that... Well, I might cry. No! Ah! Best cry ever. Dude! Come on. Is it under this? Oh! <laughs> okay. See, I knew that. Okay. It's a little thing we call in the industry testing you guys. I put myself in these positions to test you guys. 
I knew exactly where that cave was, and I wanted to see if you guys were patient enough to let me get to the outside of that. That's exactly the method that I've executed, that my grandchildren will execute, and that their grandchildren will execute. It's called testing people. That's exactly what I was doing there. I did, I wasn't lost. Don't... Whatever. I, I wasn't lost. I knew exactly where I was going. I, it was a part of the plan. Don't worry. You're worrying about something you shouldn't at this point. I knew where I was going. It just kind of looked a little fishy. That's all. All right. If you guys don't know this method of strip mining, what I do here... I can't even come back from that. I'm so... I'm such a baddie. We're playing with a baddie. We had to carry a baddie. I feel like I'm in League of Legends and I'm that kid who starts playing. He's like, yeah, bro. I totally know what I'm doing. I'm a level 72 master. And everyone's like, awesome, dude. This kid's going to be insane. You start playing with him and he's, he's a baddie. I'm the baddie right now. My God. It feels weird being the baddie. My god! Alright, we're gonna mine to the outside of this strip mine. See if there's any diamonds there. If there are none, we're going to go to that lucky level 8 that we were so kindly recommended to. By so many awesome of you- so many awesome people, such as yourselves. So we're gonna go try level 8 if 11 doesn't work. We're gonna punch the person in the throat that was wrong. Probably myself, because I'm the one who's always uh, influencing the minds of myself. I have multiple personalities, if you guys didn't know. We gotta get out of here. Things are starting to get really weird. I'm talking to myself and... I always get afraid that those are monster blocks. They want to do the monster mash. The monster mash. I need to eat! I've been in this cave too long and I grew a beard. I've gone... I've grown old from all the fatigue. Bad things have happened to me and I do not know how it occurred. I'm very, very scared. I am terrified on top of that. Okay. We just gotta get home. As soon as we see daylight, that, like, Jurassic Park music's gonna start playing, like, Where are you? You're there. It's right there. Ba -da 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 -da. We're so close. I can taste it. Oh my goodness, we are right there on some Malcolm Gladwell, David Bowie meet. Okay, no Macklemore, stop. All the things that ever influenced my life are in my mind right now. More butter? Yeah. No. I do not want you, Goldilocks. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Goldilocks. Please don't let this happen to me. All right, come on. Just a, a wee bit more. Well, diamonds are about as good as gold, right? Like, I may have to cut my losses. I really may have to and start rationalizing everything I have. Well, technically, lapis lazuli's like diamonds just a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? It's tech... Technically, Lapis Lazuli. That's lava. What can I drop right now? Like it's hot. There we go. Mm, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting really nervous. Well, there's that. Nothing of importance in that one. Let's go try level 11. I have faith in that. Or level 8. We were also given the recommendation of level 8. What level are we? Oh, 8's down. I'm like, level 11, and I keep climbing up. Leave it to Beaver. In this case, I'm a Beaver. Justin Beaver. This is 9. That's 8. All right, let's go. If this level's right, da -da 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 -da, we're going to be super happy. And we now have picks that allow us to grab supplies, so that makes this... Is that a creeper? No. I'm in denial. It's not just a river in Egypt. Before we start on this level, though, let's go ahead and let's grab our, uh, let's put our supplies away. We have a lot of supplies on us, and that's never a good thing. We're going to go ahead, grab the supplies, and hope to goodness that, that we do get some diamonds. Because the second we get diamonds, I'm going to make a sword. I'm going to enchant it somehow. I don't know. These things, these fallacies just pop into my head, and then we go from there and, you know, great things happen. You know, that's the way Minecraft's played with Cynical. Fallacies come into your head and great things happen. Just saying. Let's put away our good supplies. Let's go ahead and do it. Boodly doo, diddly diddly doo doo, diddly doo doo. Put away the flour, put away the iron, and all that other good stuff. Boo doo doo doo. Doo doo. Bam! We put it all away. 
And that'll conclude this episode of Hardcore Vanilla with Cynical C. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video some love. And will level 8 be the lucky level? Probably. You know why? Because you guys are Minecraft aficionados. What I'm going to ask you guys is, do you have faith in level 8 being the level we find diamonds on in next episode? Feel free to comment in the section below. Tell me if you guys think so. If you have faith in these fallacies. Or if you don't. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Once again... Try to throw some love to this video. You guys are absolutely awesome. I love you sexy monkeys and sinjas, and I'll see you later. Peace.